Hey there, welcome. This is Coach Chris with the Strong by Design podcast show. We're doing something a little different today, kind of, not really. I had a something in my mind like we were going to switch seats and Brian was going to be the host. and But really, it's like both of us talking about something that's uh, a, bi- a big issue for us pretty important to both of us it's about how not to get the 40 year old dad bod yeah but i'm not 40 yet you're not 40 yet but but as you just said (laughs) men today are starting to get the 30 year old oh yeah absolutely yeah so yeah yeah. i'm getting there but yeah so this is really speaking to all these men out there and who you know we're all getting older (laughs) and unfortunately aging the aging process can can be a bit of a challenge uh, when, when we're when we're not sure where to go, when we don't have good direction, when we don't have a goal, we don't have a plan to get there, we don't have the guidance that we need. And oddly enough, even though I was a, a strength coach, I found myself falling into that same trap. Mm-hmm. And I needed Brian, you, to help me get out of it. Which uh, so. I'll just get a little personal. So I was in my, you know, late 30s uh, with my son and working a lot, working in the fitness and health industry. But unfortunately, the exercise program I was following at the time was mostly just like a typical bodybuilding routine, not super athletic or dynamic or... Um, I mean, there was some times where it would be a little bit more fun than other times and stuff. But I mean, I was, I think I was going through the motions like a lot of people, even though it's so weird. Like (laughs) you're, you're somebody who, who knows strength training, but you, I, I I, revert to old patterns. Yeah, I really did. And I start and I, and I got frustrated. I got frustrated that I was losing some of my strength and that I wasn't what I was in my early twenties and all these all these thoughts and emotions that are kind of come with the territory of getting older and, you know, thinking about what I, what I w- once was and, you know, and I, I don't have the, the energy I, I, I once had. Um, I, I don't have the time for myself that I once had because now, you know, you got your, uh, your commitments to your children, your wife, um, just work, work other, other things, you know, when you're in your 20s, you're com- <laughs> you can be pretty darn selfish and that works in your favor you know when it comes to you know getting sleep getting exercise eating right eating yeah i mean you you can just do whatever you want you do your own shopping you do everything right and as as we get older and 40 i guess is just kind of that that cutoff point well, you think where people are I'm saying a, I'm over, officially over the hill. Yeah. I mean, I remember my parents yeah. turned 40 and I, everyone like the black balloons and it was like a big deal. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if they still do that yeah, now, yeah, but yeah, I know. it's like 40. It's like, all right, yeah. it's time to retire and get a Corvette. I like, think that's... it's gotten better, <laughs> but yeah, you're right. I mean, gosh, when, when I, when I, I remember my dad's 40th par- it was birthday like, party when I was life a little is kid. Literally on yeah. the descent. You're an old man. You got gray hair. And, and now I'm I'm a couple of years shy of being forty. I'm like, no, I'm like just entering my prime. <laughs> yeah. Well, and, and well, luckily you're using your expertise in the in the fitness and health world to like to give tr- you that try, advantage, yeah. that leg to up, elongate you know? that youth. That but it's pretty sad anymore, though. You go shopping at the store, you go to the grocery store, you go out running errands or whatever, and you look around and. There's more, a lot more people out of shape and looking, you know, like they have lost Aged. their their way physically, or right, look maybe look older than they actually are. Um, then, then there are, I mean, if you, especially you, you know, you're really lean, really fit. You walk around the store, you might not see one other person in the whole store that is <laughs> is at your at your physical place. Yeah, and that's that's something that's. It, yeah. it bothers me. Yeah, it is. It's because, I mean, that's that's my passion is to help people. And right. when I see other people not doing just the, even the bare minimum, it, it one, it frustrates me, yeah. but it also motivates me to not get that way. Yeah. It's, it's, talk yeah. talk a little bit about your, um, and if I didn't say in the beginning, I, said, I think I said Brian, but I probably didn't yeah, say Yeah, you, you threw my name did, out there. Did I? Yeah. Okay. 
I mean, we're just like going after it today without too much of a script because we just wanted to talk about it. We both put together, we both created something really mm -hmm. in essence right and i had to lean on you in order to create this because i was at a, a low place in my life uh even though i was you know somebody that had been do strength training for all these years i needed i needed guidance from a peer to like wake me up rattle my cage a little bit and and break me out of this little mold i you know, exercise training mode uh, mold I had created for myself. So just tell the listeners a, a little bit just a, about your experience, your expertise. Yeah, so um, this is Coach Brian, if, if you can recognize my voice. Um, part of the hey, He's on YouTube. Yeah, I'm Look part of up. the Critical Bench Strong Body Design team. I'm not just some yeah. random Brian guy. Um, you, so you get on critical. <laughs> go to YouTube, youtube.com forward slash critical bench. And if you want to see what he looks like, because he's ripped, he's got like an eight pack, you know, sometimes he has a really amazing beard. Yeah. You know, That's there's true. about a 1500 videos on YouTube with, with him. So check it out. <gasps> yeah. Kind of like a James Harden kind of beard, would you say? Like when you grow it out full force. You could totally be – you could yeah. dominate the beard game if you wanted to. Yeah. Like if you play basketball. He's not a bad basketball player either. Except I'm not – What's that? I'm not anywhere near his characteristics. Well, uh, he's <laughs> Except he's, having a good beard. He's right. And that's what I'm saying. He's a beard with a six-pack. All right. You're so, like a walking beard with all right. a six-pack. So my background's in exercise science. Yeah. I, I went to school for all this stuff. Um, and, you know, I, I, I hold that pretty highly is that I actually – I can say I know what I'm talking about because right. I've got years of education from universities to prove what what I do and what I say is accurate. It's all backed by science. I've got numerous certifications. So it's not just something that I said, hey, this worked for me, so it's going to work for Chris, or yeah. it, it worked for this person, so I'm going to create a program. No, like this is, this is what I do. So what I research, this is what I dedicated my life to, mm -hmm. is helping people just like you, Chris, to get to where they want to be. And... It doesn't matter if if I'm dealing with a 20 year old or an 80 year old. Like there's certain training principles that have to apply in order for results to take place. Mm -hmm. And now, it, I mean, we're no strangers to what happens to the body as we age. You know, yeah. testosterone drops, estrogen spikes. You know, it's a lot harder to build lean muscle if you're not doing the proper training techniques. Like certain physiological adaptations take place or as we age, and just like you mentioned, Chris, if we're not aware of it and we're not doing anything to combat it, mm -hmm. what's going to take place? Right. Dad bod. We're going to get fat. We're going to get lazy. Yeah. And then all the things that are associated with it, I mean, type 2 diabetes, cholesterol, you're more prone to injury, uh, lack of sexual drive. I mean, there's bald. I mean, there, there's so many things that go into uh, just not taking care and, of your body. And all these things together can lead to depression. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you know, you're not even, maybe you're not even a depressed person by nature. Some people are clinically depressed, you know. But some people just, they get to this place in life and they're they're not focused on themselves at all anymore, not devoting any time to their, their own well-being. They're giving of themselves to everything else. Yeah. And all of a sudden one day they wake up and they're like, I'm depressed. I, I, I don't like my life. I don't like who I am. I don't like my body, the body I'm in anymore. Mm-hmm. And that, that's a very real thing that is happening to millions of people. Not, this isn't like just thousands of people. This is millions of people just in this country that have this, the, the, you know, we, we're at a point in, in our culture where there's more people alive now in this age range, late 30s to early mid 40s, than like ever before in history, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, and they have all these things at their fingertips, all these options, all this information, and yet what what's happening still? <laughs> they still have, they have this problem, right? you know, and, you know, it doesn't matter how many Google searches you do or how many, in, in Brian's case, how many YouTube videos you watch of him in it, if you're not taking action and making time for yourself and following a good program, um, you, you know, you're just... Unfortunately, you're going to be spinning your wheels and maybe never getting yeah, well, where you, where you want to be. Think about, like, you, I love how you just said YouTube. 
you could anybody anywhere at any time can go on YouTube and become a master of anything. Yeah. And it's all free information. So why aren't there masters everywhere? Why are there still overweight people? I right. mean, all the resources are there. It's just that four letter word, lazy. Yeah. They're they're I, and, I, and I don't mean laziness in a in a negative right, way, but to like be mean. You just it's, you, you don't you don't put yourself yeah, first. You don't yeah. take care of what you need to do. I mean, at the end of the day, I get it. You're tired. Kids work. You know, you know the car breaks down. Mm-hmm. You got to run in the store. Whatever. I mean, I yeah. get it. I mean, I'm a father of two kids. I'm married. I've got a house. I've got a full time job. Like I get how it's easy to get lazy, but if you don't catch the laziness now in your thir- late thirties, forties. It might be almost too late because you don't want to be working on your health when you're 60, 70 years old. You want to be enjoying right. your health yeah. and taking advantage of all the things you did leading up to right. your latter part of your life. Right. So right. that's why we created the the 40 strong. Yeah. Just because with that mindset in place, like not only do we want men to succeed as being you know leaders of the house, leaders of work, and things like that, but we want also them to be leaders of their health. We want them to take the initiative to do the things necessary to be strong, right. not just physically, but mentally, emotionally, and even financially. I mean, mm-hmm. I, I mean I'm mean, i only, I don't even know how old I am, in mid-30s, but I know that weakness in any one of those areas affects every other area of your life. Oh, no doubt. So if we can really hone in on helping you, the listener, just realize that it's not too late to get strong, but you definitely don't want to skip another day of putting you first and taking care of your body right right it and it's true you know as as men we're kind of looked to as as the leaders of our family let's say you know i mean i'm, I'm not trying to knock the moms out there because you're you're equally important obviously but i think i'm actually reading a book right now called hero by meg meeker which is pretty amazing and it talks about the importance of a, a strong father being a strong leader of the of the family and where you go, your family follows, right? So as a as a dad, and again, if you're not a dad, hey, if you're hitting forty and you're not a father, you know that's that's fine. But you still got things pulling you in all different directions, uh, you know, work related things, uh, relationship uh, things that you got going on. So uh, you need to set the standard. You know, and others will find. So, you know, if you want healthy kids, if you want a, maybe a wife to, to enjoy exercise or activity or trying to improve her, you know, her body or whatever, if you're doing that stuff and encouraging her, then there's a very good chance that she'll follow in your footsteps. So you have a lot of uh, a lot of power in that. So there's there's three factors. And I think you actually helped this in, in kind mm-hmm. of like come up with these three factors for why you know why men in particular lose strength and gain weight Uh, number one is the energy spiral Mm -hmm. you know we're exhausted we're kind of walking around exhausted relying on caffeine yeah always looking for a nap yeah just when when sports come on just put your feet up and yeah tap out yeah we wake up tired we go through the day our diets are probably maybe could, Sub, could yeah. be better. Yeah. Um, like you said, you know, supplementing with with caffeine uh, or caffeinated products, and we're just we're 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 like robots, and we get home and it's right. Put your feet up, and daddy's like. Pfft. So now now all of a sudden you don't have energy for yourself to be active. You don't have energy for others and mm-hmm. your kids. I mean, when you get home, like they need some dad time, Mm -hmm. you know, or your wife needs some husband time, you know, you need to be there like mentally. Uh, so that, that's one of the, one of the main issues, you know, to like get yourself. And and there there is, there is some validity behind, I mean, like I said, as you age, you definitely do don't have the stamina like you did when you were 20, but don't let that be an excuse. Don't be like, Oh, Right. I'll always be tired. Well, right. I know some 40, 50, 60 year old people that yeah. are, have twice as much energy yeah. as yeah. a 20 year old. Yeah. What are they on? People well, Right. Say. They're like, oh, they, they must be taking this. Like, no, they're just doing, they've been either exercising their entire life or they're eating properly. They're supplementing with minerals and vitamins. They're, they're getting to bed at a good hour. Right. They're, okay, they're consistent. They yeah. They're schedule. limiting all yeah. the things that are harmful to their health. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're, they're doing yeah. Yeah. what's, 
what's on they're doing what's on YouTube they're doing yeah. what's on on the yeah. internet they're right. actually living right examples of like that stuff actually works yeah, yeah. but it doesn't happen overnight no it's and good. and especially you know the second one is being the frustration cycle like that's just we're not in our twenties anymore. Yeah, looking in the in the rearview mirror, T- too many people get lost there. Yeah. You know, well, like, like you were when you came to me, yeah, you're like, I'm doing everything I was doing when I was twenty. But I'm like, dude, you're not twenty. Yeah. You're not even like you're twice the yeah, age of twenty. I'm, I'm not even thirty. Anyway. Right. So how <laughs> how can you expect the same yeah. things, the same exact workouts and the training styles and everything to work when you're twenty to work when you're now? Yeah. Like everything's different. Your body's in a much different place. So we get frustrated because if we're not if we can't bench press 225 again, we're at age 40, you know, what's the point? Like, you know, like that's the mentality. So a lot of guys just get frustrated. They're like, ah. Right. Oh. But then you start looking at everything surrounding them. Yeah. Your body is in a much different place. So don't become frustrated. I'm just, as listeners, yeah, don't. Yeah, it's easy to. It's because we, very it's easy, easy to. compare yourself to your former self or to others uh, that are younger than you. And, um or sometimes even to, to other people that are that are your age, that and, and you can just be frustrated by their success. But you you don't you just see the outside. You don't right. see all the, the the hard work maybe that they're putting into yep. it. You know. And then, thirdly, you have the the priority paradox, which we've already talked mm-hmm. about. It's just that we make everyone else more important than ourselves. We don't carve any time out for ourselves, whether that be getting up a, a few minutes earlier in the morning. Or you know, you know, get kind of playing with the kids, and then being like, "Okay, honey, you got bath time because I gotta go." You know, get thirty minutes in doing something. You know, it's just like rather than being a, a couch potato for the last two to three hours of the night and then going to bed. Uh, just it's like the secret of the clock thing. Right. You know, our, our good buddy Mike Gillette. There's a great video actually on our YouTube channel. It's about the secret of the clock. And it's pretty much the secret is that the clock should never dictate when you're taking action right. in life. You can, if you need to work out at 11 o'clock at night, work out at 11 o'clock at night. If, if it's that important to you and you just didn't get one in in the beginning of the day. Right. Uh, or get up at four in the morning and do it before anybody in the house is up. So anyway, so make yourself, you have to... It's like the other thing, too, is in an airplane. If the, if the plane's going down and the oxygen masks drop, mm-hmm. what do they tell you? Yeah. Put the mask on yourself first, then your kid. Yeah. Because you have to take care of yourself first in order to be there for others. So that's a, a big part of what 40 Strong is all about. And if you, not just for Chris, but even as you're listening now, like one of the simplest things you can do to... Um, well, first off, you gotta you gotta know what your priorities are. Yeah. You know, if if getting healthy is your priority, make it a priority. If you have the most energy first thing in the morning, yeah. That's why right. why shouldn't it, why aren't you exercising first right. thing in the morning? Right. You know, I mean, it's, it's different. Sw- it's different for people. Some people feel it at the end yeah. of the day. Like for me, I I love spending my first waking hours with a cup of coffee, writing, reading, meditating, praying, whatever it is. I that's the most mm-hmm. my. That's that's when my my mental capacity is its strongest. Yeah, and I work out middle of the day because I've got a little bit of food in me. You know, I've got my computer work out of the way, so I'm energized because I've got that done. And now I need a physical break. Yeah. Where some people say I can only work out at eight o'clock at night. That's it. It doesn't matter when right. what time you work out. You need to know what your priorities are and get them yeah. in place. Yeah, no, there's no doubt about that. Um, so. You know, we mentioned this program because it, it really is like a blueprint for transforming how you look, how you feel once you're hitting that 40 mark or around the 40 mark. I mean, it's not to say that a guy who's 30 can't benefit from this program. I yeah. learned a lot they this, absolutely from right can. in it. Right, yeah, right in yeah. it. So. I know. I mean, it, we had a lot of fun when we created this. And um, actually, if, if listeners out there want to just – learn more about everything we're talking about they mm-hmm. go to criticalbench.com forward slash 40 strong and they can get a lot more four zero strong yeah four zero strong and there's a ton of information on that uh, on that page there uh, just some just really good um, free information that I call it way, wisdom way, yeah it is wisdom <laughs> it, <laughs> it is even though I'm not even 40 but yeah. I, I've learned through through school yeah 
But it's a great program, um, and it's. It, I mean, I learned so much just from just yeah. research and yeah. just like what actually happens over the age of forty. Mm-hmm. You know, re- reading uh, statistics. Gosh, there's there really is a turning point in someone's life when yeah. they hit forty. Yeah, not not no just doubt. physically, but also mentally. Because, mm-hmm. like we said at the earlier, at the beginning of this podcast, people think, "Oh, that forty rolls around the corner, life's on the decline." It's not on the decline. No, that thought is that that's the villain. That's that's where that's that's the enemy. That thought that sneaks into your head, saying, "All right, right. I'm past my prime. Right. I can't be good. All I'm good for is just working, and or, that's or, it." Or and physically, if I want to do anything, I really should only be doing X, Y, and Z. I shouldn't. When really, it's you, there's a, a lot of things that you should still be like your activity should still be fun. I mean, if you like to play tennis, if you like to Go play, play basketball. If you like to go for a jog, if you like to ride your mountain bike, I love. I just went on a on a trip and I had my mountain bike with me and I rode trails. I haven't done that in years, and I got to tell you, yeah, it was a little like eh, for the first ten or fifteen minutes because I didn't feel like one with my bike going over terrain. <laughs> but then I got I got my my legs underneath me and I felt awesome and I was like man look what I've been missing for like all these years and it's really just more of a time thing it's just not that I hadn't didn't have the confidence in myself it's just that right. I wasn't making time to do something like that that gives me a lot of enjoyment it's physically awesome for you and I just I'm like reminding myself like I need to incorporate this more now into my into my routine and the cool know? thing is like I'm, I'm sure that, like the second you got on your bike it brought you back years oh yeah no, it's, it's I mean totally. it's you're creating you yeah. know you're recreating right. fond memories no, of no your doubt. youth and that and that's what we want to encourage you is right. like just if you like Chris said if you enjoy tennis go play tennis don't don't rid your things of these things that bring you pleasure right. and enjoyment well it's just all the it's all that movement it, 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 40 Strong just puts together a program that has a lot of different things going on. And you, something in there is going to be something that is is exciting or an, an enjoyable activity for you. And so you can personalize the program a little bit, which is really cool. Yeah, And it, it's that type of movement that is what keeps us young, keeps our bodies young. And it's the mind that mind-body connection is in everything. If if we're if we're challenging ourselves mentally but not physically, we're gonna be we're gonna hit some type of depression threshold there. I feel mm-hmm. like, but if we're only if we're only challenging doing physical stuff but never like connecting it to our to our mind, you know, it, it's we have to have this marriage right between like our mind and our and our body, and we have to c- continually work on both things. I think in order to feel full or mm-hmm. fulfilled in our life right so i mean that's what's so great about this program is i think it like because of the type of activity and stuff like just the stuff that that we do now in the compound here mm-hmm. when we train we incorporate play into what we do and stuff and i think it makes us perform better at our jobs like when we're doing things in the office yeah. at the computer i, I think because our we're testing our, our physical abilities in all kinds of different ways. And then just mentally, I think we're just that much more, like, ready for challenges. Yeah. You know? I totally agree. Yeah. So, um, hey, also, you guys listening, if you text the word TESTO, T-E-S-T-O, to 345-345, you will get a free report about the seven worst testosterone killers. It's a really, really good report. Uh, it's... It's just great information. I mean, again, it ties right into what we're talking about. As we get older, yes, we do create a little bit less natural testosterone. Uh, it's just what happens. However, if we have live a certain lifestyle, we mm-hmm. can we we can be better than average mm-hmm. in in what we're in what our body Keep is doing them. hormonally. Yeah, yeah. and uh, there are things in our lifestyle that we can avoid to help us kind of retain as much of this uh, natural testosterone as possible. So please, please uh, check that out. Um, anything else you have to share, Mr. Brian? I'm um, just trying to think anything else. I have my, my uh, by the way, I have to, you notice my uh, brand new Thor Ragnarok. Uh, and he's, 
Thor. Thor he's a, talk he, about a guy who's. I don't even know how old. How he's got to be a couple hundred years old, I would assume. Thor. Yeah. Oh no, I thought it was like a. I thought he was like a thousand. Isn't he like a thousand years old? Yeah. Maybe not a thousand. Maybe yeah. that's a bit much. Five hundred. He looks probably, good for five hundred. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you come from a different planet, you know. <laughs> You know, well, he so. also is a god, so he is a god, the god of thunder. A and fic- he doesn't even need his a hammer, fictitious apparently. god, by the way. Yeah, he is fictitious god. So, if you're asking yourself, you know, you're, what what's this forty strong program? Well, let me just tell you real quick. It's it's a it's a workout program that's fit to your schedule. It allows you to incorporate the things that you enjoy, but it also gives you you know, certain exercises to do over the course of 60 days and you're able to track the progress. You're able to pretty much just do some fundamental lifts that are proven to be effective, you know, to help develop a strong mind, body, you know, things like that, strong core. Um, so that's, it's, 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 it's unlike many programs out there, like, because it takes into consideration one, your age yeah, and also two, your, your, your mindset. Like we like, I mean, the past and, and schedule, schedule, yeah, mindset. Yeah. I mean, we we get it. Like, we're how old are you now, Chris? You're I'm 42, 42, and I'm I, I think I'm 33, 34. But I mean, <laughs> something like our, our lifestyles are very similar. Yeah, where no, we no. are in, in our stage of life. Our lifestyles are pretty much identical. Yeah, <laughs> it's just we're that. both tired. We're both <laughs> we you know we both work. We we're both, both miserable. We're, we're both tired. tired. No, just Sorry, kidding. babe, if you're listening no. to this, I'm not, I'm not miserable. <laughs> totally a joke. No, but it's it. You know, a lot of these programs, and I've been spending a lot more time on Instagram lately, and even YouTube, everybody says, oh, a 12-week program, yeah. six days a week, 90 minutes in the gym, yeah. you're near max effort. Like, that's not realistic. No. That's so far uh, away from the norm. Like, that's not even, and as a strength coach, I kind of laugh at that. I'd be like, that's, pro athletes don't even train no, like that. No, exactly. You're right. So how, no. how, come an, how come an average Joe expects to get the max results, but uses a program that's completely mm-hmm. so anyways this this 40 strong program is you know, it takes all that into consideration and it's created just for you and don't think you know i'm 39 years old can i take it no right. i we, we created this program for guys in their 30s just to get some more information on what to expect yeah. when you hit your 40s right. or how not to fit you know, the, you can't see it, but I'm doing the, the fit the mold of the typical 40-year-old. Like, I, I don't want to be like all the other 40-year-olds when I get to 40. No, me neither. I didn't. That was my fear is that, that, that dad bod thing. And I felt myself, you know, kind of reaching that point and that frustration of like, man, I don't look like I, I did. I'm still training. Um, and I'm training pretty hard. That's the thing. You hit. You get to a point where you're 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 overtraining, mm-hmm. you know, and then you're dealing with injuries and achy elbows and sore shoulders and all these things. Are it's like, well, what 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 am I really after here? I'm kind of training like a wannabe powerlifter for what slash bodybuilder. Like what? I'm like I was like can kind of blurring the lines between those two approaches to training, and it wasn't working at all, and so. Um, 40 strong brought just a lot of like clarity and uh, to to my approach and I, I thank you know Brian for uh, you know just his expertise and in, in collaborating with him to like get me out of that funk and it's been great like the last well uh, three, like three three plus years um, so anyhow um, that's, uh, that's yeah. it, my man. Yeah, so let us... So, so glad you could be here. Let us journey with you guys. Let us help you um, take advantage of the free report, Seven Words Testosterone Killers. You know, g- give us a text at 345-345, text T-E-S-T-O. Get that free information. I mean, if anything, that's got a whole bunch of impactful information in there that will definitely set you up in the future for success. Mm-hmm. But forty strong, definitely check it out. I I can't stress that enough. That don't don't give in to the excuse that you know life is over after forty because it's not. We want you to be the best possible dad, father, businessman, or or woman, you know, yeah. for that matter. But we want you to to have a, a good life. I mean, not just yeah. hang your shoes and say, all right, retirement, yeah, country club. That's it. No, Life's over. Man, like, no, no. It's about it, it's you were designed. A, yeah. 
to do something great. That's right. Yep. The mind moves the body and the body moves the mind. Those two things, man. And uh, it, it, it's been great. And if you have young, young kids, I mean, being physically active when you go on vacations, when you go to the playground, when you do all that stuff and you, your kids see you being physically active and playing with them and doing all that stuff, that shapes their lives. It changes their lives. That's a whole and, and, and different topic. Yeah, I know. I know <laughs> we could spend hours just talking about it. It's hard not to, though, as a, as a dad with young children to, like, touch yeah. on that, you know, because, I mean, I would say a good majority of the people out there who are 40 probably have a kid or have thought about it. We could spend so hours talking about certainly could. being a dad and oh my a gosh. father and mentor and doing leader. blanket tug of wars last night. Where I like held one edge of the blanket and the kids are on the other and I like let them go. It's so much fun. Anyhow, so uh, that's Coach Brian Klopacki sitting across from me, and I am Coach Chris Wilson, and we are very happy to. Yeah, we can look in the, the cameras that are over there. We try to ignore those cameras. Um, forty strong program. You got to check it out again one last time. Criticalbench.com forward slash forty. That's four zero strong. And you'll get a lot more information about that program. Thank you so much for listening to the Strong by Design podcast show. It's been a pleasure and an honor. And we'll talk to you in the very near future. Bye, everybody.